no easy answers here. This ox cart, I'll not take you anywhere till I've had my due. Ever since the reign of Rathais, the founder of Vermund, the village of Malv has played an indispensable role in the defense of our kingdom against the dragon. Yet twice now, as the dragon set upon this village, inflicting numerous casualties, before being allowed to flee. The fault here lies with you, Ser Ulrika. You have failed in your duty as acting chief. With all due respect, Sir Martin, our village has dispatched many of its young hands to the northern stronghold since its completion. Was it not the former consul who decreed that the stronghold should serve to defend the kingdom, with Melv offering aid only where needed? Yet the stronghold has remained entirely silent to our plight. How can you say that the fault is ours to bear? I know of no such agreement. At the very least, Queen Regent Deesa has mentioned naught of the kind. But I'm quite sure the Consul... You would dare misrepresent the words of the dead? Or do you mean to imply that the Queen Regent has spoke? If so, then Melv's problems run far deeper than I had thought. Tis not indolence that has taken root here, but treason! The village and Tyre will answer for this! What? I intended nothing of the sort. Pray, let us... Save your honeyed words, traitor. I must inform the Queen Regent of this development. came to see me. Forgive me, I've much to ponder. Still, how would you like to stay the night? I've yet to repay you for aught you've done for me. A small show of hospitality is surely the least I can do. It was by your godly efforts that Melv escaped the worst of the dragon's assault. The people of this village are more precious to me than life itself. To lose them, would have been the end of me. You have my earnest gratitude, friend. I wanted to tell you that, if not else. Now, it is time we slept. There is much to be done for the village, and I shan't manage it without a good night's sleep. 